Hi, this is James Melendez, James a wine guy, here to talk about stainless steel Chardonnay. Now, stainless steel Chardonnay for me is evidence of consumer and producer coming together, and maybe not so in terms of an exchange or conversation, but it's recognition of producer to consumer by, um, actually these are the two symbols I'm giving right now for producer and uh, consumer. Um, so giving that handshake, if you will. And uh, for me, I think it's a really great way of talking about how consumers are really understanding Chardonnay or understanding wine and getting to a uh, flavor profile characteristic that they are seeking. And uh, that is it's really important. And when I look at a producer, say, as Wente, well-known in the Chardonnay community here in California, and they have a full allotment assortment of Chardonnay expressions. That is something that, when you look at that, it, it's playing with the terroir, it's playing with the style, it's playing with uh, maybe some partially uh, used uh, oak barrels, and maybe it's also utilizing different uh, um, barrels from different uh, regions, uh, Eastern Europe, uh, France, uh, uh, US, and so forth, to come up with a different signature. And I think that is the play on Chardonnay today. And while I think there's going to be lovers of that oaky, buttery kind, which I think um, a lot of people are not seeking, I think that's really a new direction that people are really wanting to take this wine to. And I think that is how these producers here. So we have Chamisal Vineyards here. And I think it's a great packaging program because here you're seeing that this is stainless steel Chardonnay and unoaked. It's really that uh, absolute uh, recognition and uh, hallmark that is on that label to say, this is what this wine is and this is what it isn't. And uh, you can see on the Wente Vineyards here, you don't see on Eric's Chardonnay, it doesn't say it on the front label, but it definitely says that on the back label. So I'll bring that close up there so you can see that and observe that. And um, that, again, recognition. And I think that is uh, the, the way that consumers and producers talk to each other, so to speak, uh, in, in that very um, uh, um, maybe time period, a longer time period, to come to those conclusions and understanding of desire of what consumers are seeking. So for more wine reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.